The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, has condemned President Bola Tinubu's government for the recent petrol price increase, describing it as a deep sense of betrayal. According to a statement signed by its president, Joe Ajero, the NLC recalled that the government had promised not to increase fuel prices when the 70,000 national minimum wage was accepted. The Congress is demanding an immediate reversal of the fuel price hike, release of incarcerated protesters, and an end to policies that exacerbate hunger and insecurity. The NLC vowed to stand with the people and take appropriate decisions in the coming days. Joining us is, is Nigerian Labour Congress Public Relations Officer of the Lagos State Council, Ismail Ishola Adejumo. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning for having me. Good All morning. Right. Uh, Nigerian Labour Congress has made the following demands. One, the immediate reversal of the fuel price increase. Two, release of incarcerated protesters. Three, and to indiscriminate arrests and detentions. Four, reversal of the 250% electricity tariff hike. Five, stop to the encroachment of the Ministry of Labor and Employment Duties. Six, end to policies that engender hun hunger and insecurity. Seven, halt to the government's culture of terror, fear, and deceit. And I needed to highlight what the asks were, because if you see, Mr. Ishola, a few of the asks were included in the End Bad Governance protest ask. And the NLC was not in support of the protest at the beginning, even though much later, when protesters were incarcerated, they then started to speak up. You think that right now, you know, the NLC will garner the support of the Nigerian people and that the NLC has the presence of mind to be able to hold the government to account, seeing that it's fighting its own internal battles with Joe Ajayo, on the other hand, having to answer to the Nigerian police. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you will recall vividly that uh, prior to the time when this uh, end bad governance protest was about to kickstart, that was when we are just rounding up our negotiation with the government on the issue of a minimum wage, which has lingered for almost a year. And uh, being a responsible and sensitive uh, organized uh, body of the working people of Nigeria, we felt at that time the, 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 the demand of the working people to a great extent has been uh, uh, looking to vis-a-vis -vis the demand by the, the, uh, the people who are organizing the bad uh, governance uh, protests. We share in their sentiment, we share in their emotion and the feelings, but we, because we too we are once in, we are also in Nigeria, we feel the same pulse, we feel the pain they are passing through. But as the working people and as organized labor, we have our motto of plan D. We don't just join any struggle without a, a prior involvement in it. As it were now, the tension is so high in the country. Everybody is, uh, uh, is complaining and uh, feeling the pain of the harsh policy of this government. And I must tell you that uh, we still stand very much with the people. We are the only voice for the voiceless of Nigeria. Uh, the government of the day has not really been so sensitive and responsive to the, the plight of the common man. And that is why the only standing voice that give a constructive criticism to the government is the Congress president. And if you can see in a recent time now, he has been uh, the alleged of some Trump up charges which is very, very uncalled for. This is not the democracy we fought together with our co-compatriots in government to enthrone. But at this at this very moment, the Nigerian Labor Congress feel betrayed because I told you in your studio when we are about to finalize our agreement with the government that the Congress president came to the Congress and reported that the only condition for pay, federal government to pay 250000 for us as a minimum wage is to jack up the price of one price to 1005 or 2000 thereabout. But we felt the, the, it is going to inflict untold hardship, pain, agony on Nigerians. And that is why we gallantly retreat and come to terms with Nigerians that, okay, whatever it is, let us take the 70,000 and maintain the status quo while the pain still on. But we have the hope and we believe in the government renew hope agenda that they have give a timeline and a framework that sooner or later the price of uh, PMS will crash as a result of competitive uh, arrangement. But as it were now, there is no even clear uh, direction of what who is telling the truth or who is lying to Nigerians as to the price of home price. It's quite unfortunate. We are not happy. We are not uh, uh, going to take it lightly as Congress President have said it, that sooner or later you have seen our major demand, immediate reversal, because this is not negotiated. It was not agreed. We agreed on a gentleman agreement that the 
that price should remain the same why the 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 the, uh, the so-called uh, we classify it in the labor circle as a starvation wage what has yeah. been proposed what can 70,000 do in this economy of today inflation has eroded everything the purchasing power has completely dropped people are living in abject poverty multi-dimensional poverty as a worker we cannot proud of a decent uh, uh, live so these are our major demand and also before that time we are also pressing for the reversal of the 250 percent hike in electricity tariff. I think that goes with the masses because that is what will determine the production cost of most of the people in the MSME, medium, uh, medium and small uh, enterprise. The, the, the cost of production, you can see the cost of diesel has gone up almost to close to 2,000, 1,000 plus. These are the major issues. We have to look at it, all the indicators, all the indices that determine a viable and vibrant economy are all negative. And we call on the government as uh, the, 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 the people who have been elected, duly elected, to represent the, the people. To right. yield to the demand of the um, masses. I want to ask, I mean, you, you've stated, you know, clearly how um, upset, you know, of course, you know, uh, the NLC is. You know, you've said that they, they feel very, um, you know, unhappy with the way that things have turned out. But, I mean, if you look at the demands that the NLC had in the past, before eventually it called off its strike and, and whatnot, almost none of those demands were met by the government, except, of course, you know, the, the 70,000 Naira minimum wage that was eventually um, announced. It is also a far cry from the 250,000 Naira that the NLC was, you know, asking for. So we can argue that none of the NLC's demands were met in the first place. So... Why do you think the government would care now, you know, about your being upset about the new um, um, uh, um, increase in fuel price? Um, along with, of course, Olive had asked before, your um, president has been charged with treason. A lot of very, very heavy charges have been placed against him. So why do you think the Nigerian government cares what the NLC thinks? And what is the NLC going to do if the fuel price remains like this or even goes higher? Uh, quite frankly, I said it earlier on that um, the demand before the negotiation of uh, the minimum wage still remains sacrosanct. We demanded that the government of today should look into the revitalization of the poor nation refinery. And part of the agreement was that the Portaco refinery will come on stream as soon as possible. In fact, they promised December uh, last, last year. And here we are in September of a new year. Eh? counting down to two years in office. This is still a mirage. We are still hoping, we are still expecting them to make sure this refinery works, to boost our local production. Thank God for the uh, Dangote refinery that come on stream now, with a, a lot of challenges associated with the operation. And now, what we are saying is that the CNG buses, which the government also promised, to cushion the effect of the uh, transportation, has not, was a launch, I think, about a few uh, weeks ago, but we have not really seen it in, in, in practical terms, the effect of it. It, it was just a, a ceremonial commissioning of some uh, few CNG buses. This is not what government promised, but we are still demanding. All those demands are there. So also, yeah, but what, the what, 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 what is on the tail we, end of this demand? That's what I'm asking. You know, what's on the tail, the tail end, end of, of this demand? The tail end of the demand is that any attempt for government not to yield to the demand of the working people and the Nigerians it will amount to us to invoke our the, the last instrument that government understand better, which is to to down two or to to go on a, on a strike. But we don't like don't enjoy going on strike because it crippled the economy. But if that is the only language government understand, and the most reason why we did not join the end bad governor protest because we felt that it might be hijacked. And look at the, the, the situation around it. People are now who participated in the strike uh, in the protest now have been detained, have been harassed. So we. Our organized body, we are registered with government, we have our modus operandi, we have our rules of engagement, we have we are we are we can be identified, we are known people, we are not faceless people. So therefore, government have the obligation to engage us constructively and put all this policy uh, into contestation and uh, debate so that we can now align with the, the, the superior argument that truly this is what can give us a, a very vibrant and robust economy. As I, against what we are, are being conversed to us now, that uh, the price, the, the landing cost of petrol is about 1,000 to and thereabout. So they have to push it to about 800 and something era as, as the minimum. 
So th this this is cannot sustain an average worker since this minimum wage was pronounced. Has it been paid? We have not even seen the, 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 the template for the payment. The so-called wage award that was designed to push in the effect as a result of the surgery remover has been, uh, been stopped. The consequential adjustment of salary, which government pronounced prior to the minimum uh, May day of May 29 this uh, this year, has not been even been implemented. So the workers are not happy. People generally are not happy. The government should listen. It is becoming, you know, unbearable. So that is our demand, and we stand by the people of Nigeria, which we are not. Uh, the people of Nigeria are not better than uh, we are. Not, they are not special than the working people because we we are the working people. We are also within the, the, the masses. So whatever the, the the effect of the economy also affect us. We are not. We are not finding it easy. That is just the the, the, the bottom line, and there is a, a, a demand that has been set out now. You've read it. And we are counting down. That is how we operate. We give an ultimatum. We make demand. When these are not uh, yielded to, then we, 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 we invoke our instruments that uh, the government can understand better. All right. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. We, of course, will be following with the updates to see exactly what becomes, becomes of this. Even though there are many who just think that they, this might just be paying lip service because, you know, we've asked again and again. A number of these asks have been made before now by the NLC and nothing really has been done. So what is different this time? But struggle continue. Struggle continue. All right. In labor, we don't relent. We are dogged people and rugged. We continue to press. We continue right. to make the genuine demand, not outrageous demand. Demand that are feasible, that are realistic and feasible. Yeah, so the, the government the, should the, listen. The point is none of them. The, should listen. the, the point is the government hasn't um, um, moved even an inch on any of your previous demands. Not so on why, why do we think not that they will on, move now? You know, an, anything. But I guess the moral of trouble. right. I and guess that, that the moral it. of the story is whether or not we we'll continue to press for right. those demands until the, the, the government yield to our demand and make a greater happiness for the greater number of Nigerians. All right. We are not anti-government. I, I, I guess the we mindset are not is political party, but we are organized labor. We are pressure group to check the essence of government to make sure that the economy is viable and vibrant at every time, so that masses can be happy. Anything short of that, we'll continue to press. And that's why All we right. say freedom come by struggle. We'll I guess, I guess that uh, a, a great way to sum it up, Mr. Dejimo. We a good governance. I guess a great way to sum it up will be Aluta Continua, Victoria Asata. Victory Thank you very much. Asatin. Ismail, Thank you very much. Uh, Ishala Adejimo. Thank you for your time with us. My pleasure always.